All right, so let's have a look at how we separate mixtures. In this particular case, mixtures of solids. Um, so we're going to look at three different examples. And the first one will be sieving. So the physical property, remember these are physical separation techniques. The physical property that they're separated based on is size. Here we have a sieve. We see this. Um, these are the holes. Okay, so this is looking from above. The size of that hole, by the way, is called the gauge. Um, so you use sieves and you shake through objects. Are you sorry? You shake them. You shake your mixture through objects which are larger than the gauge of that particular sieve. They get caught, which you see here. Here we've got small, um, gritty stuff plus larger rocks. And as we shake it, the gate, the rocks which are larger than the gauge stay in the top. Um, further separation can occur by having multiple sieves of different size gauges. So you start with a really big one and then you get to the smaller and smaller and smaller as you go down. Um, sedimentation. Basically, the physical property we're using here is density. And this is how gold panning works. Um, so basically, so you've got a mixture of dirt and gold here and you've got a pan with ridges. You fill it with water, okay, so water from the river, and the light soil floats to the top and the heavy, dense gold sinks to the bottom. And this allows you to decant it off. And because you're decanting it, all the light stuff pours off and your, your gold will stay here. Now, when you do panning, um, you have ridges on the pan and the ridges are there to give a bit of extra protection to stop you pouring your gold in the river. Um, so the mixture is submerged in water, um, the denser, heavy solids sink to the bottom and the lighter solids and water are decanted off. Then we have magnetic separation. This is probably every science teacher's favorite one that they don't do in the classroom. Um, the physical property is magnetic nature. Um, the non-magnetic and medics, magnetic solids are run along a conveyor belt. So you put them in this hopper up here, you crush your mineral up, you put it in your hopper. Now, rutile is a non-magnetic um, ore that's in there with iron, whereas you have magnetite, as the name would suggest, is magnetic. Um, so it pops down here and it runs along a conveyor belt. Um, the magnets keep the solids which are magnetic on the conveyor belt for longer. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. You can actually have um, a magnetic belt or a magnetic drum. If you have a magnetic belt, you don't really need this here. This is just a scraper. It scrapes it off as it goes along. If you have a magnetic belt, they pop on and both of them come down here. And when it hits here, gravity pulls the non-magnetic one off while the magnetic one stays and is pushed off with the scraper. If this was um, a magnetic drum here instead of the belt, you would have just this would be closer. That's it. And that's the difference. All right. Um, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, you feel free to ask them in the comments below. and We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, yeah. All right. We'll see you next time.